YouTube and welcome back to my channel Deb here you know what I'm saying okay so uh, you clicked on for the title of course this is the brows 101 everything you need to know about brows like now okay so let me tell you this disclaimer I have as you can see <laughs> yeah they're very thin and uh, not much to work with so if you are a thicker browed person um i'm not sure that this video will help much but hey by all means if you think you can learn something from this definitely stay tuned so i'm gonna show you three types of brows that i do natural fleeked and instagram brow that's my three go-to's like oh just going out the house real quick you know going to see family whatever or the, okay, I just want my brows to pop a little bit. I could wear makeup or I could wear like a, a natural face type of thing. And then the Instagram bow, like I'm coming with color and glitter and all of that jazz kind of brow. So if you like, um, want to know any new tri tricks and tips, just stay tuned. I'm going to let you know everything I possibly can in one video because I keep getting asked for this video. So, because I switch on my brows a lot. So also one more disclaimer. Because I do have like very sparse brows that are like, eh, not really much to work with. I can change my shape up quite a bit. I don't stick with like one shape. So after these brows come out, whatever the outcome is, that might not be the outcome all the time. You know what I'm saying? They always say like, your brows are sisters, not twins. Like they don't have to match. They don't have to be perfect all the time. This is my good brow. This is my arched all the time to perfection brow that's why my part will always be on this side because it's my good brow and then this one gives me problems but it has more hair so it's like why can't i win you know what i'm saying but anyways just give me some disclaimers there um without further ado let's get right into the video so i'm gonna start my brows by just grooming them a bit i did touch them up recently but i used this little shaver um you can get it from the beauty supply for like a dollar and I just get underneath my brow and like on top. I don't really touch the arch or anything like that because I don't have much to work with. You know, I don't want to like overdo anything I'm trying to get them to grow. Next, I set my brows with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I just tap on a little amount of powder. I just want them to be set throughout the day. I don't want them looking greasy like as the uh, hours pass, you know. So I just like to set them. I then take my favorite brow pencil at the moment, which is by Beat by Ride Cosmetics on Instagram. It has a spoolie and the actual product on the other end. And you want to take the spoolie, brush through your brows, and that's when you put the small, like a very small amount of pressure with the product and you just run it through your brows. Your spoolie is going to be your best friend, guys. Like, I cannot stress that enough. That spoolie takes whatever product you don't want and disperses it. That's why I use my spoolie. So I, I use this little bit of product and then I'll use my spoolie and I'll just brush, 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 run it through until I get as light a brow as I want. I could have had a lighter brow than this if I like spoolied the crap out of my brow, but you know, it's up to you. I do the same with my other brow and when I get done, I do not conceal my brow this is the type of brow that's like i just want something some color in my brow i don't really want it to look like i drew them on type of thing like people don't even know what my real brows look like because these are the ones that i usually wear it just looks almost like it could be my hair like i could have got it you know tinted or something like that i don't conceal them because i want them to look like just as natural as possible so you just put a little bit of product this is my next brow which is considered like my fleeked brow my brow that's like okay i want this to pop a little bit more so i'm just taking that same pencil and as you can see i make i'm putting like more pressure on the um pencil as i draw my brow out i'm using more product making it filling it in making it darker i just drew a line on the top and the bottom then filled it in you don't want to go too far in the front of your brow because you don't want it to be sparse and looking like a box or a nike check like you want it to be nice and blended so you take your spoolie and you brush 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 you brush upward you you know scrub it if you want to and i'm just taking my finger and just get <laughs> just getting rid of that little excess that i don't because i don't want my brow looking too long and like too close together 
So yeah, um, for this brow, I do conceal. So I'm using my favorite concealing brush. That's the Morphe 224 brush. And then the other one is the Precision Concealer Brush by Crown Brush. These brushes get very flat. Also, this is a P. Louise brush. I love this one for um, their base. See, I have my favorite concealers, my base, my LA Girl Pro Concealer, Tarte, and MAC. I take my concealer and you want to flatten it out. Flatten it out as much as possible. Get your brush super flat. And that's when you start to draw the line underneath. I am depending on the curvature of my brush to draw my line. So you don't have to have the steadiest of hands. You can just kind of drag your brush across your brow and your brush will determine how your line turns out if that makes sense that's why i like to use tapered brushes over straight ones but everyone does have a preference you can see more in this clip where i'm like just kind of dragging my brush i'm not really like having the steadiest of hands it's more like because my brush is shaped this way it's easier for me to draw the line now i'm gonna take my buffing brush from TG Supply on Instagram. This is my favorite buffing brush. It's the angled one in the brow kit. That's the name of the kit that they have where these brushes come in. And I'm buffing all that concealer out underneath my brow. I didn't conceal the top of my brow because this is like in another form of an everyday type of brow. Just if you're doing something natural, if you want to look cute, your brows look a little filled in. This is my kind of brow to go with. Now for what we all have been waiting for, okay? This is my most requested brow. It's my Instagram brow. For this, I'm gonna use my brow brush by Ruby Kiss. It has an angled tip on one end and a spoolie on the other end. And I'm gonna be using um, brow pomade in the shade Ebony. This is by Snob Queen Cosmetics on Instagram. I'm gonna take the pomade and flatten it out on the um, brow, li the lid of the pomade. <laughs> And I'm going to start by drawing a line underneath my brow and on top of my brow. You see me adjust my arm above my head for the line underneath my brow because you want to make sure your brush is as flat as possible against your brow hair. You don't want that excess product getting messy underneath your brow where you don't want it. And the same for the line on the top of my brow. I push my brush flat against my face to draw the line so all the product can get in between the brow where I want it. Then I just fill in the middle and I take the spoolie again, brush, 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 brush it out in the front. You don't want to put any product there. The spoolie will do all the work for you and disperse it in the front and make it nice and blended. And I just take my finger again and get rid of that excess product. I do take a little bit of black eyeshadow sometimes and fill in my brow if I want it dark. But because I have light hair, like, you know, colored hair, I didn't do any black eyeshadow for this part. They were they were pretty dark. Like, when I have black hair, it will look less dark than this. But, you know, it depends. I switch it up a lot. So now for concealing my brow, I did the same as the last step. You depend on the, I depend on the curvature of my brush. Just take your time, um, draw on the line. Same for on the top of my brow. You just want to depend on the curvature of your brush. You'll see me just glide my brush right across and it's nice and smooth. That's why I like to use tapered brushes. Some people really can do the flat top brushes. I'm not one of them people. I like, this is like more lazy. It's easier for beginners as well. So I definitely recommend the Morphe 224 brush or the Crown um, brush, the Precision Concealer brush. So definitely check those out. As I did last time, um, I'm going to use that same buffing brush to buff out my concealer underneath my brow on the top of my brow as well and that that little concealer line before my brow I just like to buff that away into my skin as well so it looks more natural more blended into my skin and then I would proceed to put my eyeshadow base on top of that 
bow look at those brows these are my instagram brows these are my favorite brows yes period well loves thank you all so much for watching my video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and if you want to see me in action doing any makeup looks i have plenty of crazy looks on instagram i want to start posting here more please 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 check me out on instagram as well i will be doing a giant 100k giveaway on instagram so definitely go on there and turn on my post notifications so you get notified when i post so you'll know like she's doing the giveaway thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video